So let's be honest, the only reason to get a Switch Lite is if you don't care about having a home console, or if you just want the cheapest access to the Switch's incredible library. Okay, I guess there's maybe two reasons, but enough with the hands-on, enough with the first impressions. This right here is the definitive look at the Switch Lite, and by the end of this video, you'll know whether this one or the original Switch is right for you. The thing about the Switch Lite is, well, it doesn't really switch. It's strictly a portable console. So it makes comparing the two pretty simple. What it really boils down to is, do you want something that's capable of being a home console? If that answer is definitively no, then the light is likely gonna be fine for you. The compromises you have to make with it, in my opinion, don't really make a huge difference. And you are getting a few improvements with it over the original Switch. Now, those improvements are primarily the overall mobility of this thing. It's just an easier device to take on the go. It's really light, it's not as bulky as the original, and it just feels more like a portable console, more like a 3DS or a Vita. For me, if I was only playing on my commute, this is the one I would go for. Overall, also, I think the buttons just feel better. They have a really satisfying feel to them as opposed to the clickiness of the original Switch. And that's without even mentioning this really kick-ass D-pad, which is straight up way better than those four directional buttons. It's undeniable. The Switch Lite feels just so good to hold. It's got this really slick matted plastic covering and my hands really wrap around it really well. During my first impressions with it, I got worried that it might start to feel a little uncomfortable after a while, but I'm pretty sure that's something I would just get used to over time. The battery life on the light is gonna give you better performance than the original, but not more than those updated switches that are out there now. So if you're looking to the light for better battery performance, that's not really a thing anymore. Now, if you go with the Switch Lite over the original Switch, you're giving up a few quality of life features like a kickstand, auto screen brightness adjustment, and of course the ability to dock it and play it on a TV. You can still connect wireless controllers to this thing and play crowded around a screen the way Nintendo at first pitched it, but let's be honest, huddling around the screen is not the best on the original Switch, so with this tinier 5.5 inch screen, it's gonna be even tougher. Now, like I mentioned, you're obviously giving up the ability to dock this and play it on a TV, but you're also saying goodbye to removable Joy-Con controllers and using it with Nintendo Labo. There's probably a way to make it work with that new Ring Con and Ring Fit adventure they just announced, but that's likely going to involve you needing to buy separate left and right Joy-Con controllers and playing the entire thing using this as a monitor, which does not sound great. Speaking of which, there are a few games that don't really support handheld mode at all, so you'll actually need to get separate controllers anyway if you want to play games like Super Mario Party, 1-2 Switch, Just Dance, and a few other titles. There's also no vibration on board with the Switch Lite, but let's be honest, I don't think you're going to miss it. Now, the only detail that really stands out here when I go from playing the light to the larger switch right here is the screen size. It's only a difference of about 0.7 inches, but I gotta say, you really notice it. That contrast in size might also make tapping on the screen a bit more imprecise, but of course, that's not a deal breaker. Now, when it's all said and done, if this is going to be your first switch, you're really just deciding whether or not you're willing to give up the option of docking it and playing it on a screen. Keep in mind that the larger Switch can have better performance and resolution up to 1080p when it's docked and played on a TV, so you're giving that up as well. Now, for the $100 more you'll pay for the larger Switch, it might be worth it to have that flexibility. But if you're only playing on the go and you just want the cheapest way to get access to that sweet, sweet Switch library, Switch Lite, it's a no-brainer. Hey, so let me know what you think. How do you feel about the Switch Lite? But more importantly, what do you think they're gonna do for the updated original size Switch? I really want a bigger screen, better battery life, maybe better performance. Let me know in the comment section below.